It's interesting that the uh, 1783 volcano also affected North America. This volcano we just had, it reached right all the way across um, to America and um, it of course grounded all the airplanes. Um, this uh, undercurrent of cloud, which apparently there's uh, the jet stream, you know, that uh, affects us from the west to the east. But lower down, there's um, a current of air which goes from east to west, from like Iceland all the way across to Canada. That took the volcanic ash over. And in 1783, the same thing happened. There was a high pressure over, it came down from the north. But we just saw that. But it's interesting, the Wikipedia uh, tells us that there was this great big um, ash <clears throat> and that it affected so much of the weather and the moon was red when it um, came up and the sun was a bright red when it went down and there was a haze everywhere just like over uh, northern Europe um, as we've seen this time and um, we've only seen a small uh, amount of uh, weather here but imagine if we had a uh, huge a volcanic, a volcanic eruption in the future sometime. Um, the point is, what we had was a small amount of ash compared to what happened in 1783. It was sulfuric. It was uh, like rotten egg smells. And it lasted all summer across northern Europe. caused terrible things, famine. And also, again, in North America, it uh, affected the... Uh, interesting, um, these things. We read in Joel, of course, chapter 2. But there would be pillars of smoke yeah it talks about um, you know the the sun wouldn't give its light and the moon uh, was turned to darkness and things and again uh, Jesus mentions the same things about there would be um, you know terrible things happening distress of nations perplexity and uh, the sea and the waves roaring and great big signs in the sky and the sign of the coming of the son of man in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 30 and, and again you know but it's, what's interesting is the early church uh, they ask in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 to Paul what will be the signs of the end and the apostles asked Jesus what are the signs of the end a great interest in seeing signs to be warned if you like in advance and um, God said that uh, they would be um, you know like a thief in the night the end would come. People need to be ready to watch and pray. If everybody knew exactly what signs to look forward to, um, we would all be um, the wiser, I suppose, if we knew exactly what to look for. So the, the Bible is kind of um, telling us to watch and to seek out and to look after these things. And um, But there are signs. Uh, that Jesus said there would be earthquakes in diverse places and uh, that there would be um, famines and uh, pestilence. Well, we've seen a lot of pestilence of late, and uh, a lot of um, problems with famines and earthquakes. Um, uh, there's different types of famine, of course. Um, we can have a famine from um, over farming the land. There's the, the, that can produce a famine. They reckon that there was once about a foot of good topsoil in North America across Canada uh, reaching for hundreds of thousands of square miles and things but the thing is now they reckon it's just about three inches of good topsoil everywhere um, so if that's the case what's going to happen in the future is if all the ground gives up its yield that will produce huge famines so um, the signs of famines and pestilence um, earthquakes. We, we've seen a terrible increase in earthquakes of late. Almost every other day and weekly and things. Terrible uh, earthquakes, killer earthquakes and things. And um, But these were the beginnings of sorrows Jesus talked about. And again he said that there would be the... Uh, after that the, there would be nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And we saw that with the First and Second World War and, and such like. Um, so you know, what can we say is that, you know, we've got to watch and seek. And it's interesting how the early church 
really sought after and wanted to know the signs of the end and what was going on. So we need to, as I say, um, watch and be ready. So, um, yeah, the, the, the gospel is um, covers a lot of footage, I should point out, about the end of the world. And um, it, it covers a lot of, um, you know, aspects of the end of the world. And there's, I forget how much of the Bible they talk about devoted to prophecies and uh, the prophetical. So, um, as I say, those who repent and accept Christ as their God and Saviour, um, you know, uh, are safe. But those who reject Christ and, and the cross and regard the cross as foolishness and um, turn away from the truth of the gospel, these people will perish, of course. Uh, as it says in Mark chapter 16, the, uh, those who believe the gospel shall be saved, but those who uh, don't believe are damned.